Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Seriously Ask, episode two. We're on a roll here where I answer your questions that have just been burning in your mind, whether in regards to my life or to things you're just wondering about that you think I might know more about, foolishly enough, because I don't know much. But anyway, let's start with our first question. Perhaps it's too obvious, but shouldn't these be called answer everything? No. Misconception, it shouldn't. As for a question, dinner party for five, living or not, who from history is Rob Dyke picking for an evening of food, spirits, and conversation? Okay, so I get to have dinner with four other historical figures, and let's assume, for the sake of this question, that there is no language barrier. We can all communicate freely. Number one would be Thomas Jefferson. I'd like to get his take on our current state of affairs in this country. Just wondering. Two would be Leonardo da Vinci, because of course I'm going to have Leonardo to my freaking dinner table. The guy was incredible. I want to know all about him. And I want to know if that whole sodomy thing was real before he all of a sudden vanished, you know? Did any of you heard of that? I don't even know if it's true or not. But apparently, Leonardo da Vinci was uh, involved in a sodomy case where he like disappeared for a while after that and then all of a sudden popped back and like, hey guys, I'm doing really cool stuff again. I don't know, maybe that's not true. I have no idea, but I heard it once and I'd like to ask him about it. Why not? Number three would be Genghis Khan. Now, I would probably have him chained down in some way, as if that would matter, but I don't know. Let's just assume that he's non-violent for a dinner, and uh, I would just like to know a lot. Like, um, i just like him to show me some moves and stuff, man. Like, like this guy just... Wow. Just wow. And I think, I think that would be... That's all I could say, really. It's Genghis Khan for crying out loud. I mean, this is starting to sound kind of like... Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure a little bit, but it's not, I swear. And for number four, it would be Jack the Ripper, of course. I want to know who he is, and uh, I want to congratulate him on going uncaught for the duration of his life, presumably. And uh, just have a chat and a drink with Jack the Ripper, just to say I could. And then when I got back and you would all be like, hey, who is he? I'm not telling you crap. What's your favorite thing to order at McDonald's? I avoid the place like the plague, but Big Macs. That's where it's at. What is your favorite video you have done? Uh, I'm going to have to say that's my demonic possessions episode of Seriously Strange because I get to actually go into a world-renowned, like, real haunted house and uh, film that just with me and my associate Bob, uh, who a lot of you know. Uh, so, yeah, just us two in a whole mansion uh, to ourselves, a Victorian mansion in Gardner. On my vlog channel, Internet Pariah, we actually did a whole blackout tour where we only had, like, headlamps on and went through the entire house. Um, yeah, it was pretty crazy, pretty crazy. So go check that out on Internet Pariah. Um, it'll be linked down in the description. Who's your favorite Walking Dead character? Though he irritates me to no end at times, Morgan might be my favorite. Um, I just like how he wields the staff, and I like his whole, like, let the people live, but not all the time. God, no. But, uh, this last episode, if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert, I'm not even gonna say anything. But, uh, yeah. It, finally, Morgan, finally. Even though it ended in a completely crap way just to retain viewers for the next season. <sighs> Where did you find your crew? My crew is a collection of people I know, friends of friends that I met through my primary friends. I also go to my audience a lot of the time to find talented people who are just among the rest of you and who want to come forward and say, hey, listen, I got some talent and I want to use it and I will give you a shot most of the time if I need it. So, uh, yeah, I think that's, a uh, Something a lot of YouTubers should do. Will you be going to VidCon or anything of that sort this year? More than likely, I will be attending VidCon. I am going to Playlist in Orlando uh, at the end of April here, this month. I will be there, but also one thing I want to tell you about is CraveCon this year. It's going on August 16th, just to make sure I got this right, in Galveston, Texas, okay? August 16th, I will be there. It's a whole event full of food and everything crazy. I'm going to be there with like Matt Santoro and Dame Drops. Dame Drops is like hosting the entire thing and a slew of other creators. And it's going to be a fantastic time. Come see me there. I, I can't wait to meet a whole bunch of you and we'll eat together and we'll maybe even get some human meat in there. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. Unless Dame's serving that. I don't know. Dame can get kind of freaky. Hey, Dame. So again, that's August 16th in Galveston, Texas, CraveCon. There is a link in the description below, and you can check out that, get tickets so you can get there, meet me, meet a whole bunch of other amazing creators, and we're going to have a blast. So check the description below again for a link to CraveCon 2016. 
If you were given the opportunity to interview a serial murderer or serial killer, uh, who would you interview and why? Seeing I already had dinner with Jack the Ripper, I would probably go with H.H. H. Holmes. And a lot of you out there are going to be like, they're the same person. They're not the same person. I, can, I would stake 75% of my life on that. They are not the same person. Um, but I would love to inter interview H.H. H. Holmes because uh, he had such a... Such an interesting... I mean, he went to great lengths to kill his people. I mean, he went to school to make sure he was doing everything right. And he was just making a business out of it. Oh, man. Need to pick that guy's brain. Seriously. Soft tacos or crunchy tacos? Depends on the mood I'm in, bro. Soft, are you a bro? Wowzers. 497, I can't tell. Uh, and your avatar definitely doesn't help. So, soft tacos or crunchy tacos? I would... Depends on my mood. Crunchy, most of the time. Most of the time. I can't believe no one asked about what the hell that cloth thing on the wall is. Yeah, bummer no one asked about that. What is the scariest slash worst murder case or any of similar sort have you stumbled upon? Uh, that would have to be hands down the story of Junko Furuto, who I have covered in my Twisted Tens episode of 10 Worst Murders in History. Uh, very sad episode, very unfortunate. Um, she was kidnapped by four teenage boys who tortured her for, I want to say, over a month. Yeah, over 40 days. She was held captive, tortured, and raped for over 40 days. Um, during her time of being raped, she was set on fire multiple times. Uh, she would have weights dropped in her body. She'd be strung up from the ceiling and used as a punching bag. She sustained so much abuse that her brain actually shrunk. Um, and then eventually she went into shock and died and they threw in her barrel like she was pretty much trash. If you want to watch that episode and learn about some of the horrors of the world, you can go down into the description below. There's a link in there for you to check out that 10 worst videos in history or you can click right there um, and you can go to that video as well. It's not, not a great video, you will be warned. Um, it is pretty awful stuff in that episode. So, um, but hey, we're here to cover that kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah. I mean, not everyone does that kind of thing. Far from it. Sometimes it's important to know the darkness of things uh, to better appreciate the light of things and sometimes better appreciate the life that you have by looking at the misfortunes around the world. It puts things into perspective, maybe even realizing how you should take your own personal security into your own hands and you should... Uh, Always be awake, alert, and aware. Even walking down the street, and you got your headphones in, jamming out, can't hear anything. Just saying. I mean, I know you're enjoying your favorite song and all, but just saying. Dangerous world out there. Anything can happen. Be safe. Be well. And if you have a question, leave it down in the comments below. Also, you can tweet me on my Twitter. Just use the hashtag SeriouslyAsk, and I will possibly answer it in the next video, probably next week. So you can do that. I will see you then, and uh, I enjoy reading your comments, so leave a whole bunch of them. Uh, but don't leave too many. Don't spam your question or the spam filter will, ca will catch it, and uh, it will trash it, and I won't see it. So just ask one or maybe multiple questions spread out over time. All right. Thank you again so much. Love you guys, and uh, I will see you again soon.